Look what I just stumble up on y'all Big Dirt describes what happened when the feds offered him a deal To give up Larry Hoover I was, you know, driving Ain't had no business on the phone But, you know, we all drive with our phones in our hand nowadays And I was looking on my YouTube And I ran across this Big Dirk Now, is this little Dirk father? Look like him, it could be I don't know This is in Chicago This clip is from two years ago And when I heard him speaking on when the feds picked him up, tripped me out, y'all. We all got homies that ain't got caught up by the police, and we all know homies that it did a little telling. Now, I did a video today uh, with the breakdown with the guys with the most cities who doing telling. And, you know, somebody said, oh, they got snitches in Compton, too. Yes, they do got snitches in Compton. They got they should have put all the cities on there. I don't know why they just pinpoint out the ones that they put up there, but they should have had every city on there. Because we all know people that ain't got out. Now, this case right here, the feds is a little different from your local police department. The feds, they get out dirty, y'all. And when y'all hear this, this gonna trip some of y'all out, man. Because I know some homies, too. I know a couple of guys that ain't got caught up. And I'm like, where's where, where, why they not going to court, man? What's going on with their dates? You know, I you you know, you've been fighting this for a long time. You continue to fight. What is going on? Oh, this makes it clear of what's going on. Let's get into this, though, y'all. So when you first caught your case, your federal case, how did that actually transpire? Well, actually, I was on my way to 26 in California to go to a court proceeding. So as soon as I was walking up the stairs to go through the doors, the feds was coming out the door, and they grabbed me right then and there took me to another side door, right out the back behind the building, into a car and shot me down there on Van Bruin to the federal court building. They put me in this interrogation room and it was a couple of agents in there. It was the U.S. attorney in there. And they said, listen, because I have a driver who brought me there and dropped me off at the front of the place and he wouldn't park the car. They said, listen, don't nobody know that we got you right now. No one. They said, we'll put you right back on 26 and your driver don't even know you going already. We'll put you back on 26 if you give us Larry Hoover. That's the part right there that tripped me out, y'all. These people will pick you up. And say, you know what? You want to go home? You want to get back to your kids? You want to get back to that woman that you sleep with and make love to every night? You know, the one that do the special thing that you like her to do? You can get back to her, man. And shout out to the Side Podcast. Like I said, this, clips, this clip is a couple of years old, about two years Oh, but that's how they getting them, y'all. They getting, they, they pulling them over, catching them dead bang, pulling them in these rooms and say, look, nobody know we got you. Your homies don't know. We'll let you out free. Give us up some, give us some information. A lot of these dudes looking at it like, man, I'm 40, I'm 50. Man, I can't go in there and do no 20s. I'd be 70 years. Man, the game is over. I might as well go ahead and give it up, give, get a game. Go ahead and tell them who doing what. T tell them the whole game. Y'all give them the whole game plan. Because a lot of these dudes is in the way, still out here trying to ball, still doing illegal activities, still out there trying to be shot callers. All the, all the shit that they ain't got no business doing, they still doing it. And when they get cracked, they already got people that they going to tell on. They already know which plug they going to tell on. They already know which homie that ain't got away with 187s and high ones that when they get caught, they going to get them up for a deal. They already know what they, they this already written out in their plan book, how they going to give you up. So when I heard that part right there, can y'all imagine all y'all big homies? As well as little homies that's out here hustling, grinding. Some of them never been to jail. And y'all wondering when they do get caught, how is they getting back out? Nobody is questioning. This right here tripped me out. And this ain't a channel about rats, snitches. This ain't one of them channels. We ain't we ain't for to do all that. You know what I'm saying? We do cover a little bit, but we're not gonna make it primarily prop we're not gonna make it just mainly on that. We just gonna give y'all a little education, educate a few dudes, wake a few dudes up. And make them look at things a little different over here. But look, check out the rest of this, y'all. I said, what? So you give us Larry who we put you back on 26 and you'll work for us. I went in my pocket, pulled out 
pulled out the card to my lawyer, slid it on the table, and said, call my lawyer. And from then on, 26 years later, here I am, free man, without telling, without compromising, without being someone I'm not, rats, stool pigeons, you know, people who tell things to get out, you know, this is the type of life, we don't live this type of life. You know, I'm a Muslim first and foremost, no doubt about it, but even in Islam, we don't believe in telling, we don't believe in rats, we don't believe in stool pigeons. So, for someone to try to tell he said in Islam, we don't believe in rats, stool pigeons, and all that. Well, for the non-affiliates, for the people that's not involved in the street life, you can tell. That's your job. Y'all job is to tell. Y'all looking at this dude like you crazy. I'm not fit to go spend 26 years of my life in the penitentiary for something that somebody else did. We telling. They telling. They, we telling off the bat. So, if you're not part of the streets you can tell <laughs> i know it sounds crazy but if you're not part of the streets you can tell don't go do 26 years but if you're in the streets it's messed up but you, you just what you signed up for you knew when you signed up to be in the gang you know you you know when you signed up to go sell drugs what come with it you know how you know what come with it because you got parents they didn't told you when you first joined the neighborhood you didn't see your homies go down it's homies in the pen. You already know what you're signing up for. Fuck it out. Tell you to tell on somebody else to save your own neck and all this. You get in this thing, you hold your own weight. You know, that's how people got to look at it. I'm in this, then I hold my own weight. You don't bring nobody else into this. You don't tell on nobody else to save your own skin. Get out of it. That's not your lifestyle. That's not what you're about. Get up out of it. You know? But when the thing hits, when it hit, the impact come in, you continue to stand strong. And you continue to go down for what you believe in. And don't bring nobody else down with you. You know, I like that love. I think it's um, Jeezy. Uh, I like the little saying he said in his little rap song. If you ever get caught up, don't mention my name. You know, that's just one of the slogans I like. You know, and that's one thing people should take as an anthem. You get jammed up, don't mention my name. Don't mention nobody's name. Just do you, you know. Cold game right there. But he said some real things, y'all. Let me tell y'all the worst part about going to jail. The food is nasty, y'all. Let me tell y'all the story, man. I got caught up 2009. I got caught up, y'all. I was at the trap spot. I was getting my hustle on. It was me and my little brother. We was on a late night shift hustling. Um, police came. Hit the spot. And they found the gun that was my brother's. That wasn't mine's at the time. And uh, police got me, handcuffed me. I ran. They caught me. And the police found the gun. Police said, I seen him throw it. I'm looking like, man, y'all ain't seen me throw nothing. So I tell the officer, I said, man, you ain't seen me throw nothing. He said, who the judge going to believe? Me or you? At that point, I knew I was going to jail. I leaned my head against the window in the, in the squad car. And we rode. I'm just looking like, man, I just did 10 years, man. I'm going back. So as we riding, the car stopped. And when it stopped, I lift my head up. I look around. This ain't no police. We ain't at the police station. We was like in the alley. Police turned around. He said, he said, you want to go home? He said, tell us where, tell us where another gun is at. Tell us where gun at. We'll let you go home right now. We, we'll let y'all just, just give us some guns. Tell us where gun at. So I looked at the officers, I looked at his belt, and I said, it's a gun right there on your belt. They both laughed. They said, oh, you want to be a smart ass, huh? That was your last chance, and they took me to jail. Now, I know people, for a fact, I know a few people that didn't told them where a gun was at to get out. I know for a fact, I know a few people that didn't told them, that didn't call their folks, hey, man, throw a gun in the alley. Uh, uh, hey, hey, man, throw a gun. And the police went and got it, let them out. I know some people that ain't told where, the, where, you know, where they keep the guns at in their neighborhood. And the police went and hit them spots and found them. Stayed out of jail. We anyway, about to get up out of here, man. Take this for education purpose, man. Don't don't take it as we uh 
just on here just talking about rats all day. That, that ain't what we're doing. You got the right to do whatever you want to do, and you got to deal with the consequences of your actions, man. It's Compton Rick Rock with Compton Rick Rock TV. This is Big Dirt. Shout out to the Shy Podcast, and I'm going to the next one. Thank <laughs> you.